Jamal Khashoggi was a Saudi Arabian citizen working for the Washington Post in Istanbul, Turkey, when he disappeared from the Saudi consulate with no trace of evidence as to where he is now. We must ask ourselves, how did this happen? Khashoggi moved to the United States to work for the Washington Post after self-exiling himself for fear of living under the rule of the new king. He was known for harshly criticizing the Saudi Arabian government through his articles. And in particular, he was criticizing their war in Yemen, their current diplomatic issues with Canada, as well as their current arrests of women's rights activists who just worked hard to end the ban on women driving in Saudi Arabia. Now this is important to us because Khashoggi was a US resident working for the Washington Post and because it is unethical and it is inhumane for a person to be killed inside their own consulate, a place where people should go to seek refuge in foreign countries. Khashoggi entered his consulate to obtain paperwork to marry his Turkish fiance, and he is yet to return two weeks later. There is an image obtained of Khashoggi entering the consulate on October 2nd, date and time stamped, and yet he has not been found uh, in, this, in the following two weeks. Um, the Turkish government has also obtained audio and video footage from inside the consulate of what looks and sounds like a struggle. Now, the Turkish government claims that this footage came from Khashoggi's Apple Watch. However, it's more likely that this footage came from bugs that they had placed inside of the consulate, given that that's a common practice among some countries. Uh, now, the Turkish government has continually asked the Saudi Arabian government to provide video evidence of Khashoggi leaving the consulate. However, they have provided no evidence to point themselves innocent. They claim Khashoggi left, Khashoggi left a half hour after he entered. However, his wife, who was waiting for him outside, never saw his return. Uh, now, Golsarin Goleri of the Human Rights Association has said that the Saudi Arabian consulate cannot absolve itself of responsibility for this incident simply by having its premise searched. It has to provide that Jamal wasn't oppressed at the consulate and that he left safely. And if they do not provide us with the information, then we must assume that he was murdered. Not only has the Saudi Arabian government refused to cooperate, but they continue to report back to their country that these are baseless allegations and that there's no proof. However, I believe that the proof is in the simple fact that they have not provided us with their proof of innocence. The Washington Post, where Khashoggi worked prior to his disappearance, has cited two sources who knew about the investigation in Turkey, and they reported that a 15-member team of men arrived in Saudi Arabia at the consulate the day that Khashoggi entered. And later that same day, they left they left Istanbul on flights bound for Cairo and Dubai. Now the Turkish officials believe that the team of men who entered the consulate in black vans and later left in these same black vans, uh, tortured, dismembered, and chopped up Khashoggi's body and took it out of the country to be dumped. Now clearly the Turkish government, as well as the Saudi government, have not figured out that the only way to solve this case as the Prince of Saudi Arabia claims that he wants to do, is by working together. News reports have come out that he was tortured, dismembered, and dumped. However, the reality is we still do not know what happened to Jamal Khashoggi. With cameras covering the consulate on the inside and outside, and no offer of proof being, uh, no offer of proof being given by the Saudi Arabian government, the fate the odds are currently not looking good for the Saudi Arabian government. And with, cam with cameras covering the consulate, as well as Khashoggi's fiance, who waited for him outside where he never arrived, the Saudi Arabian government must provide footage or proof that Khashoggi walked out of that consulate on his own two feet and not in a body bag. Thank you.